hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel this is not easier and i am back here with another video of my python series in this lecture we will be talking about functions in python so what are functions and how do we use function and what are the uses of functions so we will be all talking about functions in this lecture so from now we will be using function a lot and we will see a different uh, um, uses of function, how we can create function, so how we can make functions efficient, how we can use function to make our code efficient. We will be doing this kind of uh, tutorials from now. So if you're new to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell icon for my future video notifications. And if you have any questions about my tutorials, you can comment below. I will uh, get back to you as soon as I can. So let's get started with today's video. I have created a new Python file called functions.py. .py is the extension of our Python project, our Python code. So let's get straight to our functions. So what are functions? So uh, from our um, uh, tutorials we have seen a lot of built-in functions like input functions we can take input using our input functions we can print something to our console using the print function right so those are all the functions those are functions too but to make our uh, software or our project efficient uh, most of the time we will be creating our own functions we will be writing our own functions those will be beneficial for our program which will make uh, less code uh, so th those are the benefits of functions so if we create a function one time we can use it a multiple of time multiple of places so that is the main reason we want to make a function another uh, main reason is uh, that uh, when we are coding some software uh, there will be a lot of lines so we need to organize all the functionalities what our software will do uh, what it will do when we do this what it will do when you do that so all the those functionalities we need to make them step by step so the organizing the organizations of those uh, functions are uh, those are the functions those are the function the work so the workflow of our software is the function so we will make functions and we will see how we can uh, make functions i will be starting with the basic one say suppose in our program we want to write uh, say suppose print um say suppose welcome welcome here okay So welcome here so suppose we want to we want to print this simple line a lot of a lot of time in our in our program and a lot of places so for that we need to write every time every time we need to write the same thing over and over that welcome here where we want to place it and how many time we want to place it we need to write this simple code lots of time yes there is a way that we can store this in a variable and we can use that variable lot of time but we need to write this print statement then inside that we need to write our code so this is not efficient we we will have as so suppose i am showing you a simple example this will be not needing in any program but say suppose we have uh, we have to do a mathematical uh, impression that we need to add two digits. So in our uh, program, there are, um, we will need to add two digits in a lot of time, in a lot of places. We need to add two certain item. Then we need to do something else with that. Then again we need to add uh, those item together. So we can wrote a function simple called addition then we can use though that addition function like our print statement here print inside that we have our value like this and we can use that particular addition uh, function in every place where we need so we will see how to print this one without using this a lot of times in our program 
So how do we define a function? We need to write div. So div is a, a syntax that our Python knows that this is the defining of a function. This is the starting of defining a function. Then we need to write the name of our function. So suppose the name of our function is welcome. Okay. Then we need to have bracket. Because all our functions, say suppose print, we have brackets. Say suppose input, we have brackets. So to define a function, we need to write the bracket. After that, we need colons, then a space. Then we need to do this indention to write something inside of this function. So we are now inside of this welcome function. Now, what we want to do? We want to print. Well, we want to print welcome welcome here we want to print this okay so we want to print this using this welcome function now so suppose we now okay now we are outside the function because we have we are not in the indention this is the function so this is our function so after writing a function we need to leave two gaps because that is the um this is the good practice this is the writing module of PyCharm. So okay now what we need to do so suppose we have num okay num1 equal to 6 and we have the num2 equal to uh, 4 okay and okay now we want to we have answer is equal to num1 plus num2 num1 plus num2 now we need to print print the answer okay now how about at the beginning at the beginning of our uh, program we need to write we want to write this function here so welcome here so what we need to do we can simply write welcome function now this is this is how we call a function this is the name of our function we need to write the function name then the bracket so this is how we call a function so we have called the function at the beginning now if we print this in our console we can see welcome here then we can see 10 because welcome here is the beginning then we have this two then we have the add addition then we have printed the addition welcome so this is how function works so you need to give, uh, you need to arrange all them step by step. So function reads this step. What is the first thing it will call? When we uh, press run, first PyCharm comes here, then it sees welcome here. What is welcome here? It goes here. Definition. So what is definition? Definition of welcome is print welcome here. Then it prints welcome here. Then it goes here, then num2, then answer, then prints the number. So suppose after that we want again call that function. We can call it simply by the name. We can simply call it by the name welcome function here. Okay. So this is how we can add function. So if we if we uh, run this we can see that welcome here then can then welcome here again because we have added this welcome at the beginning and at the end so you can see that we don't need to write every time this statement over and over we can simply put this inside of a program or inside of a function then we can simply call that function and it will do all the things for us so suppose we want to give another argument here okay so, so suppose we hmm, start here. Actually, yeah, start, start here. Okay. So start here. We have a start here. Now, if we run this, what we will see? We will see welcome here, and we will see start here together because this start here function, this start here print statement is inside of our welcome function. Now, if we print this. We will be seeing that welcome here is at the beginning of our code and at the bottom of our code because we have we have called our function two times. So this is how we can use a function to do uh, repeatedly task 
multiple of time using less code using less code so suppose if we didn't uh, made this uh, function here we need to print these both lines at the beginning at the end then we'll have a lot of lot of lines of code lots of lines of code in our program so by using program we are making it efficient and we are making it minimal that we can have a um, less code and have the same functionality of our less code so um, this was also today's lecture you know in my um, in my next lecture i will show you how you can uh, modify this function according to uh, input function so, so suppose uh, user will give us an input then we will use that input to our uh, self-made function then we will use that function in our program so i will be back with that video till then take care bye bye